Well, here is the continuation of the steel files derustification via electrolysis, solar ele electrolysis actually. So what I noticed last time was that there was some gunk being stuck on the bottom end of the file, and that was keeping it from either a that was making it more rusty or it was keeping it from being derusted. But come come to think of it, I think it was mostly just insulating it and keeping it from derusting. I believe that's just because a lot of junk just settles to the bottom. So I'm going to try to fix that by putting a rock in there. That's not going to work. Okay, I think this brick will work. And that will keep it above the sediment. Hopefully. <laughs> Notice all the air bubbles coming out of the, the brick. And there we go. It should start working tomorrow. Just gotta add some salt to increase the conductivity. Somehow, water got in here. And remember, a negative on the piece of metal that you want to save, and positive on the piece, on the sacrificial piece of metal. It's been a pretty cloudy day all day. It's been about three days that this has been running since I last checked on it. Let's see if it's bubbling or not. Oh, it is. Look at that. And that's with not much light hitting the, the panel. At least no direct light. Looks pretty nice. You can see the electrode is corroding nicely. Looks like we had some rain to splatter the, the rusty water up onto here. I spent a couple more days, and the electrode has finally died. So I've been doing low power electrolysis with this solar panel with like 3 volts at like 2 amps. But now I'm going to try like 12 volts at 15 amps. I'll do that on the handle and see if that works any differently or if it's only faster. So I have this set up. I've been pinning this piece of pipe. And it went perfectly. It seems that maybe high amps is better. Basically what I do is I have this really, really, really salty electrolyte inside there, and I connect it to the battery, then I start charging. So the battery tri uh, tricks the charger into working, then I disconnect the battery and leave the charger connected to that, and it puts 15 amps into it. Okay, okay, so it's, it's actually acting as a battery, giving me half a volt. I will connect this up. Start feeding in 15 amps of power. Then we'll remove this. And now it's just the charger powering it. How this charger works is it kind of stays low at giving only one amp, and then after a couple seconds, it starts giving more power, the full 15 amps. I think this is the part where it's like testing the battery or something like that. Oh, it's really going up now. It's really starting to bubble now. Pretty soon it might push away all those the stuff, the layer on the top. That's what it did before with the other piece of pipe. I right, say so let's let that sit for a little bit and see how it does. Well, look at that. That's definitely bubbling pretty fast. It's been running for about an hour now. I 
Let's see if it's made any diff- Whoa! turned out really well. Let's wire brush it to see if that if that'll help at all. In conclusion, I have to say, it doesn't really matter if you use a, a light amount of current or a lot of current. It still works pretty good. I actually kind of prefer using a lot of current now. I'm wondering if even more current, maybe like 100 amps, would do even better. This is wonderful. I love this. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!